Hey, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We'll have a pretty good day going on here today. Intermittent sunshine with a lot of clouds rolling through. Keeping up with all the usage on the systems. Not gaining a whole lot, but that could change. Like they say out here, if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes, it's bound to change. So all in all, pretty good day. Little breezy. So I'm gonna walk back into the shop and show you what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And that's the new update on the Victron Energy uh, charge controllers. They dropped a new update a few days ago. And as all things Victron, it's a great update and makes things even more convenient than they already were. So I'll stumble back to where those are and show you guys what I'm talking about. Oh, almost fell there. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wildlife. So those of you running any of these uh, Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controllers, if you've looked at your app in the past few days, uh, you've seen that there is a new update available for all of these. This is the 100 uh, volt 30 amp. And they've got another, the 7515 here. And they got another 7515 out in a different application. And I just wanted to tell you, if you haven't looked at the app recently, go to the app, open it up, and you're gonna get a uh, update that you can upload or download and it's highly worth doing. So the new features that this update unlocked which is just incredibly convenient instead of having to uh, tap on the particular uh, charge controller you wanted to take a look at like in past you can type on or just tap that and it would take you to all of the uh, parameters and charging functions and everything that's happening with your battery. Instead of that, which has everything, which of course we all love the app for that, showing 59 watts coming in, the voltage, uh, the current, what state you're in. This one just slipped into absorption mode, We're running it up to 13.8 for an hour. But here's a nice thing, instead of having to, to tap on the in individual controller, can go back now, and here's what the new update does. It's just at a glance now when you open it, rather than having to go into the specific charge controller that you're using, it shows all of them that you're using, and a lot of you are using multiple controllers like I am. And look at this now, at the bottom, it shows the values of everything and all of them. Couldn't do this before. You had to tap each controller and look at it like in that previous page I showed you, and it would give you all the values. Now at a glance, there it is, all three of them in real time. That one that just went to absorption there, the one I've got labeled Power Queen because that's the battery tied into that one. 118 watts coming in. 13.56, got a little cloud. In absorption mode, it's taken 300 watt hours to get it up to that today. 7.7 7 amps coming in. Drop down to the Red Odo charge controller where I've got that Red Odo battery tied into. Same thing, real time. All the values changing as the conditions are changing. Still in the bulk state. Of that one and then this one out here uh, that's on a different ap application I don't have any solar coming into it so it shows it as being off shows the resting voltage 13.13 so it's in great shape so this is a great update make sure you do it you're gonna like it it's even more convenient than it was before if that's even possible loving the Victron Great update. 
I really do like how I can just now just open up the app, look at all the batteries or all the charge controllers all at the same time, see exactly what's happening. Two seconds, you're done. Great information. Just wanted to share that with you guys. All right. Aloha.